Hi everyone, welcome to Museum Hi. Minute. We are here with David Hooten again, and we're going to tell you about the Nature Trail. Uh, the Nature Trail is a uh, living bio. Uh, it's got animals, it's got plant material, and these are all items that you find. Some of them in Lee County. I do have a few plants in the in the in the trail, but they are plants that would you find in, in another country, but they're on the same latitude. And you know, if you look around the globe, but you know, the latitudes and zones of, of not necessarily all native plants. They're not. They're they're wild. But they do but, fine in this. Yes, but they do fine in this in this climate here. Okay. They're dry, drought hardy. They like the hot heat, uh, low water. And not... you said animals. Now I know we have the bronze animals that people have donated. Yes, the bronze animals. There are ten of them in the in the trail. Replicas of the animals that were that you would find in Lee County in the Lat Estacado and the Corcho Plains of of southeastern New Mexico. It's, in the nature trail, it's it's a truly nature trail. You'll find. Jackrabbits, you'll find cottontails. Uh, there's an assortment of birds that fly through. I've uh, seen quail run uh, through. Three different species of rats. You know, that may turn somebody off, but but again, it's a nature trail. Uh, field mice, I mean, so, and then we have the foxes. Gray foxes are here. Yeah. We brought Sally the salamander from off the campus and turned her <laughs> loose in the water feature. Skunks, we have nocturnal animals and we have the daytime animals. We started this with Calvin Smith, you know, when I was over here at the museum at that time. It's just a white drill pad is what I call it, like you'd see around an oil rig. Yeah. Talking to Calvin, you know, his what he wanted to do with the nature trail was bring plants that were native to the Lana Estacado. It goes from south, you know, Monahans, basically all the way up to north of uh, uh, Amarillo into Kansas. Yeah. You know, so we had to bring it in to just Lee County. So we are now a certified wildlife habitat. And the National Wildlife Federation was one of those. And then just recently the one million pollinator gardens come out. So even in that, we have plants and materials planted, daisies and different things here in the garden for the pollinators. Yeah, in the real, this is this is actually the third growing season. Mm -hmm. Based off the size of everything, it looks like yes. it's older than what you say. Yes. It is. looks like it's been here forever. Mm -hmm. Now we kind of you know help a little bit by augmenting water with and get things to grow a little quicker. But you know it is a drip system. It is a, it is low water irrigation on this nature trail, so we're not watering every day. But and, you have educational labels out here. Yes. So people can come out here and find out what the plant is. In the, in the labeling process, uh, I wanted to go a little bit further than just put the common name, a botanical name. You know, we wanted to be an educational garden for the museum. We have information on there that the, you know, the, the native tribes uh, use these plants for food or, or medicine. Well, David is always adding more and changing things. So if you come out here once, you'll want to come back. It's a seasonal garden. It has the spring color and then it has the summer and then we'll have fall things that will bloom in. And then we augment it with a little bit of uh, you know, some of the summer annuals that kind of pops in color that mm -hmm. are drought hardy. It's definitely a good addition to the museum. Well, thanks, David. Thank you very much. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Water, that's Hot the, heat, that's, that's as the, opposed to the cold heat. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I think he means humid heat versus dry heat. Well, humidity. It all, it all plays together. Okay, it's a play of words. All right, this one. Okay.